Hi guys, I'm going to show you how to make a fun Bitmoji animated banner for your Google Classroom. So to start with, you're going to need a regular Bitmoji banner, non-animated, as your starting point. So if you haven't done that yet, go back and watch that tutorial first. There's a very easy one on my channel that you can check out and make a really fun Bitmoji banner for your Google Classroom. And so that's our starting point. This is my um, classroom, and I normally have a Bitmoji girl sitting right here on the couch. So all I've done so far is I deleted my Bitmoji from sitting on the couch and then took the blank slide and duplicated it. So you just right click on the first slide and click duplicate slide and just keep doing that until you have six to 10, should be a good starting point. Um, Cause you can make this as detailed as you want or um, or not, basically as simple as you want or as detailed as you want. So the only tools you need for this, besides the Bitmoji banner, are the Chrome, the Bitmoji Chrome extension, which you already have if you've made your banner, and you also need an add-on in Slides, so it's called Creator Studio. So to get that, you just go to Get Add-ons, search for Creator Studio, and go ahead and get that add-on. We'll use that at the end. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure I'm on the first slide and then I'm going to click on the Bitmoji extension and I'm going to look for a Bitmoji who's running because I want her running into the room and jumping onto the couch. So let me put her right here. So she's running into the room. That's the only girl who's running, but she's running the wrong way. So what I need to do is right click on my Bitmoji pick rotate and flip horizontally. And remember to right click, two fingers on the trackpad. Okay, so I'm gonna get her running into the room and I'm just gonna take notice of where her feet are so everybody can sit, stay consistent. Um, now we go to the next slide and just think about the position of the first girl. So the second girl I want right before the bookshelf and then I'm gonna go back, pick run again, and this one looks good. So this will be my, my second one in. So it takes a minute for after you drag and drop for it to create the bitmojis on the page, but you know, that's how it goes. Internet's a little bit laggy. Okay, so that's our second one. So let me just, again, just go back and see Okay, her feet are pretty far down. Let me just move her up a little. Okay, that looks good. And then, yep, yeah, there the, she's. So she's in the second place. So now the next girl I want to be right, kind of in front of the bookcase. Let's do one more running girl. It'd be really cool if they had the where the legs kind of moved, and you can make that happen. But that's a little more complicated. So we're not going to get into that on this one anyway. So let's flip her around, right click, rotate, flip horizontally. Okay, so she's in front of the bookcase. Actually, she was pretty good where she was. And I can just kind of flip through my slides quickly and you kind of get an idea of what this animation is gonna look like. Um, next, I wanna add a jump into this. So let me go to my Bitmoji extension and click jump, <clears throat> excuse me. And let's see, I like this sheep. So uh, you can either copy and paste or just drag and drop. And I'm going to put the sheep here. So she's jump, she starts her jump. Okay, so this was kind of at the first half of the bookcase. So I'm gonna go here, start the jump kind of at the second half of the bookcase. And then my next one, Let's grab another jumping Bitmoji. This one a little different this time. We'll do this one. And we'll put her right here. Let's see. She could be a little higher in the air. Adjust her a little bit. Okay. That looks pretty good. And then for our final one, she will sit on the couch. 
Okay, so let's grab that, drag it and drop it, and put it right on that couch. And then for good measure, we could, let's just make sure, whoa, let's see. Okay, perfect. And then I'm gonna delete this last one because I don't even need it. I'm going to insert an image. I want her to just have a little word bubble. Um, and actually I had searched for one before um, and uh, I my search term was transparent cartoon word bubble. So um, I like this one. So I'm gonna put this one in, drag and drop again. So let's size it down. Okay, oops, size that word bubble down just a little bit more. Okay, and put it right there in the middle. Okay, and then I need to add a text box to it. Right, hello. Now that's way too small and I want a different font. So I'm gonna choose Impact. I have some fonts on here and change the text size. I have some fonts on here from Extensus Fonts. They, it's an add-on for Google Docs, but then once you use the fonts, you can copy and paste them into um, slides too. Okay, great, so it looks good. So let's close out this image bar and let's go ahead and create our GIF. So I'm gonna to go to Creator Studio and open it. So it's gonna take a second for it to open up. And once it does, um, we want our output width in pixels to be at least 1600. That's what we need for a Google Classroom banner. It'll calculate the height based on the size we have here. And for the interval between slides, I'm gonna choose 0.5 seconds. And you can play around with that and see what works for you. And then I'm gonna press go. It's gonna automatically make the GIF and it'll show up in my uh, Google Drive. It shows up in a folder called Creator Studio. And this is it. So you can see that's what our finished product looks like. So let's go ahead and um, we need to download it to put it in Classroom. So I'm gonna right click and click on download. And it's gonna download to my computer. And in the meantime, I'm gonna flip over to Classroom. Oh, we can close that. I'm gonna flip over to Classroom. And um, you can see this is my regular banner where um, it's just stationary and it's great, I love it, but now I wanna use my GIF. So I'm gonna go upload photo and select a photo from your computer. And that's my in downloads animated but Boji banner. And then you just stretch this out until it covers the whole scene. There we go. Select class theme. And there is our finished product. So have fun making your animated banners. Like I said, it's way easier than I thought it would be. And it's so much fun and it adds a lot of flair to your Google Classroom. Enjoy.